my name is Birdbrand and we are still talking about particles. So last time we were talking about like the creation of our particles. And today we're going to talk about their lives. Because yes, each particle is more than a simple dot. You can give them shapes and parameter and you can make them age. And this is what we're going to focus on today. So if you haven't already, get yourself a basic particle system and let's get started. So open your sprite emitter and head over to initial parameter. This is where you deal with the age of your particles. So here is the age at what they are born with. And here is the age at which they um, will kick the bucket. <laughs> it's important to kill your particles at one point because they add up fast. So you want to make sure to activate the maximum lifespan because this will make your particles disappear after some time. And here you also have the particle mass and rotation or whatever. But you know, this is advanced. We're not going to talk about it today. So we're going to focus on age and maximum lifespan. All right, so now how does it work? Well, it's super easy. So the age at birth is pretty straightforward. It's how old in frames you want your particles to be when they appear. And then you have this, which looks like nonsense, but trust me, it's not super hard, okay? So the age at birth is pretty straightforward. It's how old in frames you want your particles to be when it appears. Let's say that I decide that each of my particles is five frame old. The age at birth standard deviation is plus or minus something. So if I write two, then my age at birth will be either five or four or three and then six or seven because that's minus two and plus two so that means that at birth my particles are going to be either three four five six or seven frames old all right and this doesn't make sense right now but it will in a moment okay because if your particles have like an age of many frames it means that not all of your particles are going to get created at the same frame so that they're not going to live the same life and they're not going to be like the same gradients of colors and stuff. So there's a lot of things that you can do with the age, okay? And then you have the maximum lifespan. This is the same thing. The maximum lifespan is you decide how many frames you want your particles to live for. So if my maximum lifespan is 30, then my maximum lifespan sigma is basically the same as the deviation. So if you write like 3, my particles are going to die either at 30 or they're going to die at either of these number. I'm not good at math, I always have to draw it, it makes it easier. So this is like the maximum lifespan, but then with the sigma that is three, it can be minus three or plus three. So it's, they're either gonna die at any of these age. So it just helps to have a bit more random in your scene. You do need to activate your maximum lifespan. And now how do you kill your particles? Uh, you need a modifier for that. So I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna go to my modifier and find one that is called kill. And then you can bring it in your scene. And this node basically allows your particles to kick the bucket. So you take this, you connect it here. I always connect it to the left because that's what I've been taught and it seems to work. So I guess do the same. So the kill node is pretty easy to use. There's a trigger to turn it on and off. And there's this thing that is very important. Use maximum lifespan. You need to click on this. Otherwise it's not gonna use your maximum lifespan. If it's not clicked, what it is gonna use is the kill older than this. So the kill node also have its own, but usually I just use that as a safeguard because I use my maximum lifespan as a way to kill my particles. And how are they interacting into each other? Usually the maximum lifespan is more important than the kill older than. But in some occasion, I think like if the sigma is too big, the kill older than might like go over the sigma. I don't know, like honestly, it's little details. You can just test it if you want. But just remember to have your kill, set it to maximum lifespan so that then if I set my maximum lifespan to like 10, it means that my particles are not gonna live longer than 10 or 13 frames. And let's test this out inside my scene. Oh, you see, I want you to concentrate on this dot here. It's going to disappear at one point. Oop, you see, it disappeared. So that's how you can handle the age of your particle and kill them. All right, so I hope you learned a lot. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.